everyone, Gio here with another short. Today's topic is passenger briefings. Passenger briefings are often skipped over in training, but today I'm gonna to show you an easy way to brief your passengers using a safety mnemonic and some of the key points to hit whenever you're doing a safety briefing. Now the passenger briefings are required by the FARs and you can know that by every time you get on a commercial airliner, what do they do? A passenger briefing. However, we don't have the luxury of flight attendants, so we have to do it ourselves. I'm gonna show you how to brief the passengers without scaring them, but giving them the crucial information they need in the event of emergency. So I'll meet you out at the airplane. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through a safety briefing, just how I would do it if you were my passengers. So a quick tip before we get started is to do it before your engine started. Whenever you try to do it when the engine started, it's really loud, passengers can't hear very well. So always do it on the ground before the engine's running. All right, so today we're gonna to be doing a safety briefing. So the S is gonna be for seat belts. So to operate the seat belts, you would pull out over here and you would grab the clip and it's just like a car. You pull it right there and it should automatically tighten for you. Um, now to adjust the seats, there is a latch right here that you can pull up and you can move it forward or back to your comfort. There's also gonna be a little lever here that you can move around in a circle if you need to adjust the seat up or down for your comfort. So go ahead and take a seat and get comfortable and we can uh, have you operate the seat belt. Now to undo the seat belt, it's very simply just push and you take it off. Now the next part is we're gonna talk about the air vents. So we got multiple air vents here and here. To operate it, you just twist and you can feel the flow of air come onto you immediately. And you can also have it partially open, whatever's most comfortable for you. Now we also have a cabin air down here and a cabin heat in case you get cold. Now for these, if you're starting to feel a little uncomfortable and need more air, let me know and I will operate these for you. Now, if you start to feel sick at any time during the fight, let me know, I'll give you some tips to not feel as motion sick, but we also have air sickness bags located in the back. Next, it's unlikely, but if there is a fire in the airplane, we do have a fire extinguisher located right down here. Now to operate it, you just pull it out and you aim it at the base of the fire and push down. So the next part of the safety briefing is the exits. Now we do have two exits here. To open the doors, you would just go ahead and pull back on the latch and to close it, you're gonna go ahead and shut it close and push down the latch to close it. Now, whenever you do close it, make sure you push a little bit on the door, make sure it's all the way closed. Now, if you can't get it quite closed all the way, let me know and I'll go ahead and close it for you. So after the exits, the next part is gonna be talking. So. I don't mind talking during the flight at all, but there's certain portions of the flight I need to really concentrate, and that's gonna be during taxi, takeoff, and landing. During that time, only let's talk about the most important things to the flight. Um, and then once we get in the air, we can talk about the Astros game or the latest Netflix show. And then lastly, do you have any questions? Nope, okay, great, let's go flying. 